This video is sponsored by Adobe XD. And with that said, enjoy this episode. The challenge today is to redesign SpaceX's website and try to solve some problems there. We're just doing a nice UI redesign and finding a problem here or there to enhance. You are about to witness the cut down tutorial version from our live stream of our monthly challenge. If you guys want to watch the full live stream version of this month's challenge, you can check out the link in the description or you can check out the tag right here to go watch that full video. So with that said, do not forget to subscribe, like the video, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. We're gonna redesign their homepage. It's such a simple website, I'm like, what can I do? We're gonna do bits and pieces and see what we feel. However, y'all know I like super spiciness. And I saw something today, you know, UX people will get on me. Fergie, you can get on me if you want. The designing for the sake of designing. Listen, I like to have walked away from whatever it is, feeling special, delicious like the cookie monster. And today I saw this. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to play with some animation-esque thing. This person's design um, was pretty much along the same thought of what I thought for uh, SpaceX, where they kind of took the mission timeline and rather than just having like a beautiful f photo in the background like they did at SpaceX and just like have rewatch, they kind of had a, hey, this was um, an upcoming mission, you know, some pictures, information. Yo. Okay, you know what? I might do something a little interesting. I think, I, I think I'm on to something. I'm gonna ungroup these. I'm just gonna change the names. What do we have here? We have Falcon Heavy, Dragon. There we go. Verdana again. Do I have Verdana? At the moment, I'm just kind of just trying to just get their fonts and stuff, and then we're gonna take like a whole new approach to what they got. Oh, whatever this is, D Din Bold. There you go. That's much better. All right. Pull out the fill, make the rectangle about two, and we're gonna steal this, and we're going to have. We're just gonna have learn more for right now. Put that in the center, and I want to thickenize. I'm gonna duplicate this very quickly. Let's see if we can actually grab these. All right, cool. Mm, that's not cute at all. And uh, yeah, I appreciate the love. I'm gonna make this dark real quick. All right, I'm gonna take this blur. Is that, oh no, blur the object. There we go, I'm gonna blur it crazily. I'm gonna turn the opacity down. I just want a nice little separation between the words and the background here. And now let's see, what can we do? All right, so these are gonna be very small and off to the side. All right, sizing looks good. I'm gonna make this a little bit larger. I feel like this is a disgrace of an earth. I feel like the earth needs to be like more shiny, more delicious, more mm. So we got Mars there. I'm just gonna duplicate it holding alt and we have the moon. I wish there was a way, maybe we can just reduce the opacity a little bit. What I wanna do is I wanna make it kind of look, kind of have you have here where it's a nice little white thing back there. What if I did this? What if I edit this in Photoshop? Control U. Darkened it a little bit, saturation up, what happens? Save that, looks a little bit nicer. All right, so we have our the moon and we have our Mars. One thing I do want though, is I don't want them to just like stick out like they're currently doing. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste this inside and I'm actually gonna create an overlay. It's a nice little overlay on top of the earth here. 
And I actually, you know what? I honestly could have done this in XD as well. However, um, how I would do this instead in XD is literally just create a circle and kind of do what I just did behind the text here. All right, so boom, take this border off. I would blur this instead of the background object blur, scale that. I think I can do this. All right, pen, we're gonna pull this. We'll make a little triangle here. I've actually not tried this before, but we are going to, we're gonna learn together. All right, so fill is going to be like, now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just double click, boom, double click, try to get something around that. I'm going to blur the object, scale that up, and I'm gonna see if I can find the correct mode. Trying to see if I can, uh, is there a different color? Maybe something in here, maybe bringing this up a little bit. Yeah, this, the color still doesn't look right. But maybe it's just how intense it is. Maybe that's it. Maybe that, that looks better. And by the way, don't forget to save before your entire uh, work goes out the window. I really like this, uh, this button that's going on right here. And I kind of want to replicate that. So I'm going to go to fill linear and I'm going to steal. I'm going to take that border off and there is, I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to blur that and put that here. I'm going to reduce the blur just by a little bit. Delete and pull this in. Man, my man, that probably is not the best way to do this either, but uh, I don't know why I didn't think about the radio. Much better. I'm gonna duplicate. I'm gonna start getting organized here a little bit. Something I do wanna do is I wanna see if I put over like an overlay. If that actually, like if I were to do something like this, this is a solid color and I do like a little color. Exclusion. Something to kind of tie the experience together. You know what I mean? Like, or at least the colors. The colors here don't look necessarily uniform. The colors here look a little bit more uniform with that uh, overlay over top. Mars and beyond. All right, I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit better with this, guys. A little, 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 little better. So these are essentially their big er, uh, what's it called? Their bigger missions, I guess. So we're gonna pull this up here. Maybe we'll pull these down here. Maybe we'll bring this up just a little bit higher. All right, time to think, time to think, time to think. Um, we're gonna do background blur here. And we're gonna get a, not a hiccup, we're gonna get a down arrow. It don't work like that. It don't work like that, okay. We're gonna leave that, we're gonna delete this. Um, we are then going to, that is dark. Okay, let me remove the border here. So the next thing that happens, First, let's, let's just do the rotation. So I'm gonna select this entire Earth. All right, so right now I'm just grouping all of the Mars and Earth stuff. What I'm planning to do, I have no idea if this is going to work. So I'm gonna just duplicate this before I mess up. I'm gonna 3D-ify all of these elements. I'm gonna try to push this Earth to be in the front of everything. I'm gonna push these to be in the back. All right, so what I think what we're gonna have to do here is, going back here, the first thing that we need to do is this will go back here to the center after I name everything. Mars image, moon image, earth image. We're gonna put this up top. underneath the navigation. This is our title. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pick Earth and it's gonna drop there. So that's what we're gonna do. So this stuff will drop down, boom, zero opacity. This will come over here. This will pop up. This is actually gonna stay in the center. I'm gonna copy it though. This is gonna go up. Opacity is gonna go down. The sky is gonna move a little bit. I'm gonna take all these left. Align, make sure everything's over there. Green. 
this over. All right, cool. So we got all that. Blau, we do 20 times 1.2. I have no idea what that is. 24, all right, cool. Delete any excess. I'm gonna just bring this shadow here real quick. Just add, add some dimension. And I do need to add this to this here. But I'm gonna zero the opacity there. All right, so we have the earth. I don't know what this would say. Maybe it's par part of like a video or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's see. Because what I'm planning on doing is if we click this, it goes here. What I do need to do is I need to add this though. Boom, bring it to the center, zero that out. Because whatever we do to one part, we need to do to another, or at least when it comes to animating. So let's see. All right, let's start to look at this stuff. Prototyping. Let's play. All right, we did not do auto animate. That would have sucked if you guys were just like, and ta-da, the, <laughs> the basic transition. You guys are like, what did I come for? All right, we got snap. We're gonna do, we're gonna do 0. 0.6. We're gonna see what happens. All right, okay, that's semi-basic. We're gonna increase about, we're gonna do like, we'll do two seconds. Maybe we have go back, I have no idea. We have to figure out what this is. All right, and then we can have the, the go back is kind of weird, like from an experiential portion, like this, a UX standpoint. Um, however. And this coming out is a little awkward too, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this over just a little bit. There we go. And we're just doing one thing at a time, one thing at a time. So we have our basics. We can make this earth spin a little bit when it animates up. So once you get like the stepping stones a little bit, then we can, you know, start doing some more complex things. Maybe I want there to be like some sort of like idle animation where the, you know, the earth is hovering and the side, <laughs> oh! I made a little bit of a time animation, so there's like a little bit of a loop here. Snap is great for tap animations in my opinion, but when you want a smooth animation, um, typically what I do is none. So that it's like a consistent movement. And I just keep testing, so none doesn't look good. We're gonna try ease and out. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. It's a little too quick, so what I might do is I might speed this up. So I might take 2.5. I've duplicated the artboard, right? This I started with this one, and I duplicated it, and all I did was move, I've rotated planet one, planet two, planet three. I know the moon is not a planet. And uh, essentially prototyped, so you see these lines here? I basically took this, I dragged a arrow here, to this artboard and said, hey, when in zero seconds, animate for 2.5 seconds and an ease in and out animation. And essentially I made a loop. So every 2.5 seconds, Adobe XD is going back and forth between these two artboards and we get this. We had a little bit of a rotation. I'm just gonna exaggerate a little bit more. All right, boom. We saw the earth move a little bit and we can go back. Boom, there we go. I still don't feel complete. You know, these space rockets, things of that nature, and somehow integrating them into, you know, the design. And of course, you know, there's only so much that I can do in like an hour, hour and a half. I would really have to like prepare to do some of these things. You know what would be really cool? Is if when we hit learn more, the spaceship like kind of takes off a little bit. I'm gonna have it floating just a little bit. I'm gonna have it just go kind of like back and forth. Then when we hit learn more, it kind of shoots off, <laughs> but of course that's not super sexy, but hey, whatever. Our little dark blue overlay, I'm gonna put that back on. I'm gonna hide this, pull everything kind of, I'm gonna prototype this first, I'm gonna pull this down, zero, and pull this stuff off to the side. All right, SpaceX, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna make this a little bit thicker. Where's the stroke? Stroke, we're gonna do, maybe we'll do four. 
There we go. That should be enough. Okay. Alright. Now, we gotta figure out... Okay, so we have this thing back there. We want to have the Editor X or SpaceX kind of come on and then fill. Alright, first we're gonna mask this. Get a rectangle, boom, mask with shape, cool. And what next? So I'm gonna duplicate this, boom. We're starting from here, nothing. And then once it gets waxed on, I gotta think about this in like steps, as in frames. And then below, gotta think, here's our tight, nope, and our nav. There we go. Fill that in. All right, let's kind of find where we're at. So boom, boom. I do only want like, let's, we're just gonna do one second for all these things, just so we can test. For this, we're gonna go here, boom. We're gonna do time, time, time. And we're gonna do one more time here. SpaceX, boom, white, blau. All right, close, there was something that happened that shouldn't have, and it was right here. Make this centered. Drop this down here. And I'm not even sure of like what the purpose of these lines are. We're just trying different, you know, different things. Paste this up here. And I'm gonna bring one side. Actually, I'm gonna bring this over here, and this over this way kind of making them center points, because essentially what they're gonna do is they're gonna animate from each side. So if we take a look at this, we get our nice little lines, they go away, edit our SpaceX, boom. We have our learn more. <laughs> and there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to the channel for more and like this video. If you wanna watch the full live stream of this episode, you can check it out right over here. If you wanna watch more episodes of our monthly challenges, go ahead and check out the playlist right over here as well. If you're interested in joining in on our monthly challenges, you can check out the link in the description. You can join our Discord and you can get all the rules, how to enter and things of that nature. Now, if you want to learn how to animate like we've been doing in here, or you just wanna kind of educate yourself on how to be better in Adobe XD, from beginner status all the way to advanced, I have an amazing course with awards, really that allows any individual, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, to take your skills to the next level in Adobe XD, animating and prototyping to the next level. Design and animate easier and in less time in Adobe XD. So with that said, if you wanna check that course out, the link in the card is right there, or you can check out the link in the description. Hope you guys have an amazing day and we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.